Above all, the universe fascinates us with its overwhelming diversity. No wonder, since the thousands upon thousands of sparkling structures in the firmament always remind us how small we actually are. But apart from these countless celestial bodies, there are also regions in the cosmos that present the exact opposite and are characterized by an oppressive emptiness and an impenetrable darkness. And indeed, with Botus Void, a cosmic void lurks out there that appears so gigantic and desolate that it now only keeps astronomers on their toes, but also repeatedly becomes the focus of outlandish theories about highly developed alien civilizations. But what does the Botus Void really represent? Does it really contain the proverbial nothing? Or can it ultimately even help us answer some of the biggest questions in astronomy? To understand the background to the Botus Void, we should first clarify a more fundamental question. Because what is a void anyway? Well, to understand this, we need to look at the overarching structure of the cosmos. And remember that the so-called filaments play a fundamental role here. Basically, these are the thread-like connections made of visible and dark matter that are located between galaxy clusters and superclusters, which are naturally characterized by their high galaxy density. In this context, we can imagine the structure of the universe on the largest known scales as a kind of network or honeycomb structure, and the areas enclosed by this cosmic network are what experts call voids. In relation to their intrinsic volume, however, there are remarkably few galaxies in these voids. Consequently, the theories that deal with these peculiar voids must be able to explain the formation and spatial arrangement of the voids. However, a glance at the approximate extent of the voids, which is no less than 326 million light years, shows that we are by no means dealing here with a small cosmic side issue. And just to recap, a single light year already corresponds to around 9.46 trillion kilometers. If we now assume that the proper motion of a galaxy is 600 kilometers per second, the star cluster would take more than 160 billion years to completely cross an average-sized void. However, the universe itself is only 13.8 billion years old, which is why it is improbable, to say the least, that the origin of the voids can be traced back to the outward movement of galaxies. Instead, it seems much more likely that both the voids and the filaments were once formed approximately where they are today. But what could have been responsible for this particular arrangement back then? Well, since the ordinary matter in the young universe was much too homogeneous to have created such gravitational constructs, the experts point to dark matter, and thus to a very mysterious form of matter that, according to our models, has a significant influence on the movements of visible matter, but apart from that, still embodies a huge mystery. The Cosmic Void – What is Really Hidden in Botus Void? Botus Void is sometimes also called the Great Void, and yet this term is not entirely correct, because strictly speaking, this gigantic area is not completely empty, but is characterized by its confusingly low galaxy density. Located in the constellation of Botus, from which it takes its name, and discovered in 1981 during the study of the distribution of the redshift of galaxies, we are dealing here with a huge region that does indeed contain a few, or more precisely, 60, gravitationally bound star clusters. But if we now consider the almost ridiculously large dimensions of Botus Void, it becomes clear to us why this value appears so strikingly low. After all, this approximately spherical area has a diameter of around 300 million light years. This corresponds to about 0.27% of the diameter of the observable universe. And while Botus Void with a volume of almost 236,000 cubic megaparsecs, is one of the largest known voids of all. There is actually enough space for over 2,000 galaxies there. But as I said, we only found 60 here. And to get a sense of this yawning emptiness, it's worth taking a look at the following example. If our Milky Way were in the center of the Botus Void, it would have taken astronomers until the 1960s to discover that there are other galaxies in the universe besides our own. No wonder, because on average we find a galaxy here only every 5.5 million light years, and it would take billions of galaxies to fill the Botus Void with our galactic home. Furthermore, with our current propulsion technologies, it would take about 13 trillion years for us to reach the superstructure 700 million light years away, and then another 6 trillion years to fly through it. 
There's no question that all this sounds pretty impressive, but the bottom line is that the Botus Void is not even the largest colossus lurking in the depths of space. At the top of the cosmic voids is the KBC Void, also known as the Local Hole or the Local Void, and it measures an unimaginable 2 billion light years across. No less imposing are the Eridanus Super Void and the Sloan Great Wall Void, each of which is over a billion light years across. And although such vast areas may undoubtedly seem oppressive, they are of paramount importance to the research world. After all, they can help us to answer some of the most fundamental questions in astronomy. The Potential of the Void for New Insights At first glance, one might think that the Botus Void is a cosmic anomaly. After all, the fact that there are only 60 galaxies here instead of the expected 2,000 corresponds to a confusing 95% reduction in matter. And yet, the sheer size of this void, and the knowledge that there are even much larger voids out there, cast doubt on this assumption. But why is the Botus Void there at all? Well, basically, one could say that the study of voids resembles the study of photonegatives because they are only defined by what they lack. Meanwhile, researchers have mapped the universe in detail, and what they found resembles an oversized spider web. Most galaxies lie on the threads of this cosmic web, and thus on the filaments mentioned earlier. But as already mentioned, there are also the voids, and these make up no less than 80% of the observable universe. Where the galaxy filaments are concentrated in areas of large clusters, clusters in turn arise, and our Milky Way, as a component of the superordinate Virgo supercluster, can tell you a thing or two about this constellation. The Virgo supercluster, in turn, is part of the Laniakea supercluster. And while all these filaments and voids represent the largest known structures in the cosmos, the Botus Void is simply just one of the countless pieces of the puzzle that we call space. But while we can understand exactly what voids are, the question remains as to why they exist at all. Well, to approach this mystery, we have to turn back the wheel of time as far as it will go, and go straight to the Big Bang. Because when space, time, and matter emerged from an original singularity about 13.8 billion years ago, the newly born, densely packed cosmos was still small. Researchers suspect, however, that some areas were denser than others due to quantum fluctuations. And as a result, the denser regions also attracted matter faster, sometimes siphoning it off from the less dense ones. And as the universe expanded, the denser regions literally clumped together ultimately forming the galactic associations we know today. In the same breath, however, the less dense areas continued to lose matter to the gravitational pull of their denser counterparts. And as this process continued over billions of years, it resulted in the formation of voids and filaments. To visualize this, we can imagine the voids as the bubbles of a foam that grow larger over time. And Joseph Clampett of the University of Pennsylvania once explained this phenomenon as follows, quote, Voids are extended, flat valleys in the distribution of dark matter, while galaxies lie at the center of narrow, towering peaks. A typical galaxy has the same height and footprint as the Empire State Building, and a medium-sized void would be a three-foot deep hole three times the size of Manhattan. About ludicrous black holes and futuristic technologies. In principle, it can be said that the Botus Void is a relic from the early days of the universe that expanded over millions of years before eventually becoming one of the largest structures in the observable universe. Well, or at least that's what the official website says. But if we delve into somewhat less official circles at this point, we see that this gigantic empty space in space is sometimes also linked to somewhat more surprising explanations. The corresponding alternative theories range from unconventional to completely crazy, but at least the first of them does not seem completely outlandish. This theory states that the huge void is in fact a colossal black hole. But how likely is that? Well, let's take a look at TON-618, which is considered one of the largest known gravity monsters and weighs an incredible 66 billion solar masses. But despite all this, the event horizon of TON-618 is just 0.2 light-years across. And, as a reminder, Botus Void has a diameter of 300 million light-years. So if it really were a black hole, we would be dealing with dimensions of mass that hopelessly exceed any known pattern. And in combination with the knowledge we have now gathered about this region, this approach seems, to put it mildly, rather unlikely. 
But then there is also the, well, somewhat surprising assumption that the Botus Void doesn't really exist at all. But if there is no colossal void out there, what are we dealing with? Well, Dyson spheres, of course. Once proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson, these are hypothetical solar power plants that completely encircle a star in order to harness as much of its energy as possible. Applied to the Botus Void, this would mean that what we perceive as a yawning void is in fact the work of a highly developed alien civilization that uses its wondrous technologies to make starlight invisible. To what extent this approach to the Botus Void sounds plausible is something everyone has to decide for themselves. But at the end of the day, what actually seems more likely? An extraterrestrial species that has managed to pack billions of stars into Dyson spheres? Or quite simply a region in space that is a little emptier than the rest? And now we'll show you a trick to fill the void in your subscription feed. Simply press the thumbs up and subscribe now to never miss a new video from us again. We'll see you soon.